you know, fun, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching us from. It is Piri Kamban trying to do a presentation on permutation and combination. I must mention that um, this is a second video. In this video, we want just look at um, questions on permutation. Remember, permutations is concerned with the arrangement of objects in a different order. But when we talk about combination, I'm just interested in uh, how you can combine things. The order does not matter. All right. So we'll start with this question. Okay. Hey. We are saying how many arrangements are in the following ways. So, in this way, that okay, for a start, maybe I avoid using repeating words. I think that I'll do that in the next presentation. Uh, Maybe they say cut. Okay. Let's say cut. So in this word cut, we realize that we've got three characters, three distinct letters. In this case, our N will be equal to three. So, to find the number of arrangements, this is simply means three factorial. All right? Now, three factorial means, you can easily get that on your calculator. All right? But this means three by uh, two by one, implying therefore that three factorial is this. So, there are six arrangements. I'm trying to, okay, to get my calculator as well. Then B, we have the word sample. Sample. In this case, we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, two, four, two, four, six. Which means our N, our N is E6. So this implies that we are dealing with six factorial, you know? and six factorial is six by five by four times three times two times three, one. All right, you can easily work out that, or you can use your calculator. So in this case, six factorial is seven hundred and twenty ways of arranging that word sample in a, in a definitely order, in a certain order. All right. I hope that is fine. Then the next one is arranging any objects, or I mean, uh, arranging other objects from any different objects. Yeah, we'll look at a very simple question. A very simple question. Right. How many arrangements are there? Because we are talking about the arrangements, we are dealing with the permutation. Um, how many arrangements are there of the four letters from the word chemistry? So, okay, let me say our answers here. So we have this word chemistry. All right. Now, we are saying uh, how many arrangements are there of the four letters? If we were to pick four letters, in how many ways can we arrange those? All right? So, to do that, 
we need to find the n, all right? Which is the total number of characters that we have. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have got nine. And now we want to arrange four. All right, how many arrangements are there of the four letters in the word of chemistry? So we are dealing with it, our R being equal to four. All right, so we are going to say, um, in P R is equal to N factorial. You can even use a small letter. Um, then N minus R factorial. All right. Is what we need to have. So we have nine factorial to nine minus r is four for factorial. So this is nine factorial divided by five v factorial. So here we we'll break down this up to the fifth factorial. Right, we we'll broke down the the ninth factor, the nine factor, uh, nine factor up to the fifth factor. So it will be nine by eight by seven by six by five factorial because the denominator has five factorial. You say five v factorial. So five factorial and five factorial will cancel. Therefore, the minus nine times eight times seven times c six, six, all right. So nine, nine by seven, by six, by eight, I skipped eight. So we get 3,024 arrangements. 3,024 arrangement. Okay, how many arrangements in this case we're saying 3,004 arrangements. All right, now uh, another question is, how many arrangements are there of the five letters, or the five letters from the word vanish? Five letters of the word vanish, from the word vanish. Vanish. All right. So what is our n? We count how many letters we have here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Our n is seven. Now, I can take you back to the question that we have right taken. We are saying um, how many arrangements are there of the five letters from the word vanish? So we are interested in five. All right? Five, which means our error is a five. So since we're talking about arrangement, we are dealing with the mutation. This will be equal to n p r is equal to k. Okay. Uh, is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. This will give us 7 factorial divided by 7 minus 5 factorial. All right. So this is 7 factorial divided by 2 factorial. All right. So we can break down this as seven by six, by five, by four, by three, by two factorial, because the denominator has two factorial. So now, this two factorial and this two factorial will cancel with white. Therefore, we have seven times six times five times four 
times three. What do we get? Five. Seven times six times five. And six times five by four by three. Okay, you get 2,520. This is what you get. There are 2,520 arrangements. Okay, I hope that is fine. Please look out for more videos on permutations and combinations, more videos on the uh, GC mathematics, uh, additional mathematics, the nine mathematics, uh, college, university mathematics, A level mathematics, such as differential equations, complex analysis, among others. So, in case you want to join us, please, we have got online, uh, online lessons that are ongoing, different levels. But for 2024, GCE exams, the, the registration is on. It's only 500 kwacha per month in a group and as an individual. All right? I mean, a, uh, a person, that is. But as an individual, if you want to be taught alone, you can still contact us. We'll be able to help you. This is number one. Number two, we also have the grade nine and the 12 lesson. Okay, add 500 kwacha per month in a group. All right, please contact us on 0978-66-5876. All right, or 097-967-8809. This is Mr. Peel. Please subscribe also to this, our channel. Kamban Siri JM. Thanks so much. See you next time. Bye bye.